from Queensland, Australia. slash continent that's been on my bucket list for so long. Gerard and I are both here in association with Singapore Airlines and Queensland Tourism. We were fortunate enough to be invited by both the companies and we flew here via Singapore Air and then via Silk Air from Singapore to Cairns. We're in Cairns right now and I'm still trying to get the pronunciation right because it's like Cairns meets Can, like Cairns, if I'm saying it correctly. Um, basically, we're here for the week. Very, very excited to check off so many things off my bucket list. I don't want to tell you too much, but uh, because there's so much I know I'm going to want to share with you. But basically, we checked into the Shangri-La Marina here in Cairns last night. And this morning, we're checking out already because we're going somewhere really, really exciting. I can't wait to see it for myself and, of course, share it with you. So stay tuned. So the first thing we had on our itinerary was the Great Barrier Reef. We were diving right in, pretty much literally. We got on to the Sun Lover Reef Cruises and took a one and a half hour journey into the ocean where we went to their pontoon. On the way, you might get a little bit seasick like I know I did, so make sure you have a bag at hand or keep a chocolate handy. Here, they make you fill in basic details just so that they know everything about you, including some emergency information. And they also give you a little bit of a tour into what to expect and what your day might be like. A little bit about the sea life and a little information here and there. Once you're there, you can get onto the pontoon that you guys are seeing and jump into the ocean. You can go snorkeling, get onto this fun water slide. You can always just hang around in general and spend the day here. But what we chose to do was actually get onto a boat that takes you for a helicopter ride. Yes, it was my first ever helicopter ride and it was absolutely beautiful. We got to take a 10 to 15 minute journey at the Nacklace helicopter that literally gave us an aerial view into what the great barrier reef looks like it was a really really surreal experience and i highly recommend you try this out when you have the chance So this is the big catamaran that we came in here on and we're still at the Great Barrier Reef in the middle of the ocean. It's all so, so beautiful. We're done with that helicopter ride and we're on the pontoon right now. Uh, the pontoon is basically two-story. There's the ground floor over there and we're up on the first floor. So the catamaran is going back to uh, the port in Cairns where everyone is going back home, going back to land. We're spending the night here on the pontoon which is an experience called Starlight at the Great Barrier Reef. The stars come out at 8pm. We spend the night here. We also spend tomorrow the day here in the middle of the ocean. It's going to be so beautiful and it's an experience. I'm so, so excited to experience. Um, yeah, I still have my scuba dive. I still have my snorkeling to go. I didn't go earlier today. I did get a little bit seasick on the way here. So uh, I chose to relax in the first half of today. And in the second half of today, I'm going to go do a bunch of experiences. So we're going to chill here, I'm going to change into a swimsuit, dive into the ocean in some time, go do the boat ride and as we go along with everything of course, I'll be taking you along with me. Okay, getting onto the boat with the glass bottom to go around and uh, take a round in the ocean. Everyone's here. Guys, say hi!
the observatory instead of just jumping into the ocean it's on the basement level of the pontoon itself so you get to see the marine life while still not being in the water apart from that we think we saw one of the most beautiful sunsets ever from the pontoon stargazing was pretty surreal too but it was all way too dark to get any good footage our dinner was what the australians called a barbie basically a barbecue of vegetables and meats all your meals are included in the starlight package so you really don't have to worry about any of that we ate really well had great conversation met some really nice people and slept really really well we slept in these swags which are basically the hybrids of a tent and a sleeping bag don't worry they're super comfortable but you will wake up at the crack of dawn because they have a little netted area at the top so a little bit of light and you will probably wake up but super comfy and then we went and experienced the exclusive snorkel safari which is only meant for the people who stay over before the day guests come in i think i should leave you to the sound of the ocean from here because it's so damn beautiful has happened since we came into Australia into Queensland just two days ago um, spending time at the Great Barrier Reef was just magical if you ever do come to Australia make sure you come to Queensland especially make sure you make the booking for the starlight experience because spending the night over there was just surreal snorkeling was so beautiful it was absolutely amazing I've been snorkeling before but just doing it here at the Great Barrier Reef in Cairns was it i know i'm using the word again but it was beautiful it was magical because i've never seen water so clear so blue and so many different types of um of reefs flora fauna fish uh, to observe underwater it was just unreal after i finished the snorkeling i actually also attempted to go diving now i have to be honest and tell you this is this was my second ever dive but i did not complete my dive i left a little bit early um i was underwater we were really deep and it was really beautiful and all um but at some point in the middle i kind of looked up at the surface and realized how deep we were underwater and um in that moment i kind of like forgot to breathe and that messed me up and got me um a little bit panicky so i kind of like just use the button which comes like if you've ever been scuba diving you know you get a little button and you press it and you just go up to the surface um i did not make it all the way to the end in the scuba i got out about maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so early i wish i would have stayed till the end but that one moment really had me going weak anyway we got out of um the sun lover in cairns and took about an hour's drive we are now in port douglas We've checked in at the Sheraton over here which is a really really beautiful property. It's so white and pristine and our room is really lovely. It's got a nice big king bed. It's nice, super spacious and we have a really pretty bathroom that also has a bathtub. You guys know I have a weakness for bathtubs and you guys know I have a weakness for hotel rooms in general actually. So um this is a really cool place to be i'm really really excited about a couple more things so there are a few things i'm just literally checking off my bucket list for australia on this trip um one of them was already planned but the second thing that got confirmed today has me so excited tomorrow we have another bunch of things lined up so stick around and uh, <laughs> i will be vlogging all the way through So about 20 minutes from Sheraton is this little town called Mosman and we're at Mosman Gorge. Mosman Gorge is a tourist must see area and everyone I've spoken to from my family that lives in Australia to friends who visited and even online it's one of the must do items if you're in or around Cairns. Um uh, Cairns, Cairns still trying to get the pronunciation in that Australian twang, right? Um so we're here now. We're supposed to meet someone over here for a guided tour. I'm also carrying my swimsuit because apparently they have a river inside which is really great to jump into at the end of uh, the walk
coming to Mosman Gorge and getting to do this one hour Daintree Forest tour was one of the highlights of our experience in Queensland. You're welcomed into the Daintree Forest with a little burning ceremony that wards off any evil spirits that they believe might exist and also seeking permission from their elders, from their ancestors spirits to bring in their friends. We had Keenan taking us on this tour and he was absolutely lovely and super informational in telling us about the culture, heritage and just the way his family was brought up and their ancestors so on and so forth. Trees and just the forest in general was a huge part of their lives and they used it right from making weapons to communicating even up to burying their ancestors bodies within the trunks of the tree. He even told us how they used to make weapons from these trees, how they made homes in these trees and just as much into their culture and history that they could have. This is a heritage place. It is the world's oldest tropical forest. And I highly recommend that if you're someone who takes interest in cultures from around the world or history, you look this place up and book yourself a tour because you will just not be disappointed. It's a very, very, very enriching experience. I didn't get to change into my swimsuit and jump into the river as I would have wanted to. We were running a little bit short on time, but taking in all of that culture, tradition, you're learning about the Yalanji tribe as much as we did was really the main takeaway of this afternoon. Soon after this, we prepped up and we were headed to the sunset sailing experience. This again was a really beautiful afternoon in Port Douglas. And I think it's just simple and easy to say that it was beautiful, it was romantic. And if you're there with a special someone, or even if you just want to go there and have drinks and have a good time with your friends, I will highly recommend it. hotel today was absolutely amazing the sunset sale was beautiful even though my stay in Queensland is not coming to an end I have two more days to go I'm ending this vlog here today I don't want this one video to become too long but uh, stick around because the last day in Queensland is gonna be absolutely amazing you probably already know what is what it is if you follow me on Instagram um, but come back watch more I promise you that one will be amazing because I'm so excited for it I'm gonna go now make sure you guys have hit the like button the subscribe button the bell button keep coming back for more videos i love you very much and stick around and come back so you watch how this trip ends i'll catch you soon bye